Okay, some people do their grocery haul. This is our grocery haul here. Hi guys. So Adam went to Cantrill to the Dutchman store. That is a bulk food store run by Mennonites. So we've seen grocery hauls on YouTube, other channels. So we thought we'd do our own grocery haul going to the Dutchman store. So here we go. Okay, we'll start over here with some smaller items. He got me an apron. So nice of him. And a little bit of specialty items. We have some cereal there we're going to try. Kids are excited about that. Uh, peanuts. Have, what does this say? Strawberry yogurt covered pretzels. Different types of chips. Salsa. Um, looks like someone was hungry. That's a cheesecake. We have some black raspberry gelatin. Uh, there's a little bit of a glare here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, dried banana chips. We always get this when we go to the Dutchman store. This is pepper relish. And you mix that up with some cream cheese and it makes a really good dip. And then some other things that we get. This is flaxseed meal and also bran, wheat bran. So I use those in um, a lot of different things. Um, breads, pancakes, waffles, muffins. I put those in a lot of things. And we have some ground back black pepper, chili powder, several different spices, hot chocolate mix, taco seasoning, baking soda and these come in a lot of different sizes you can get smaller sizes but like the baking soda it comes in you can get a bag that's like twice the size too so that's really nice we have hominy which we haven't gotten that before i'm not quite sure what his plan is with that but i guess we're going to try it maybe try and cook it and see how we like it and popcorn we go through a lot of popcorn sunday nights are our popcorn night so usually with um church and all we end up having a later lunch on Sundays so we do a nice big late lunch and then we'll have popcorn of an evening and usually put a goodie or something in with our popcorn but we have eat a lot of popcorn now we'll move over here let's see looks like we have some eggs like that's four dozen eggs we go through quite a few eggs too. Most of the time we have our own from our chickens, but our chickens have decided that it's just too cold to lay anymore, so they're taking a break. Some little smokies. We have all kinds of sausage. We like biscuits and gravy. We like, um, sometimes I'll make biscuits and just make then sausage patties and have biscuit sausage sandwiches, and we like that. Um, this is really, really nice to have. This is bacon crumbles, so it's like a giant thing of bacon bits. It's very nice to have. And also we get great big bags of cheese. We go through a lot of cheese. This is Monterey Jack, it looks like. But we use up a lot of cheese, so that'll be nice. Um, we also have here, okay, this one is yogurt. And we have one, two, three, we have three cottage cheese and two sour cream. I really like sour cream and we've gotten like four of these at a time before and everyone was just teasing me because I would put sour cream on the table every time we had a meal. But I like sour cream. And let's see, we have hash browns. Those will be really nice. Triangle hash browns. So we have a couple bags of those. This looks like this is um, chicken breast, marinated chicken breast. Those are really nice to have, especially for grilling. But those would be nice. 
And in here we have um, some ham, it looks like, a bag of ham. We also got a bag of chicken gizzards, which I, a few of us really like chicken gizzards. I don't know. I don't know if everyone has tried them yet, but I know Adam and I like them, and some of the kids like them at least. And looks like we have another bag of some sort of seasoned chicken, so that's always good to have. And we also have great big bags of frozen fruit. So we have blackberries. We have three great big bags of blackberries. We have a bag of strawberries and three bags of raspberries. And in the summertime, we have our own blackberries, strawberries, and raspberries. But um, we go through them pretty quickly. We f I freeze some or I might um, can some or make a jelly or something with those. So we go through them rather quickly. So we've ran out pretty much of all of our summertime store up. So now this will last us until, oh, a good while, maybe till our next, next summer when our other berries come in, but we'll see. We've got a lot of kids that like to eat frozen fruit, so. <laughs> and here we have, climb over everything. Cool Whip. We like our Cool Whip. We also have um, several things of bagels. And the neat thing about going down, or kind of the fun thing about going down to Cantrill to the Dutchman store is that you never know what they're going to have. And they do run an ad and you can get online and see their ad, but what they have at the store is so much more than what they put in their ad. So you'll find things that um, will be at a really good price that aren't necessarily in the ad, but you'll find it there and so that's really nice to, to be able to go down there and find some really good deals. And let's see. We also have bacon. We have lots of bacon. We like bacon. Izella especially likes bacon. She likes bacon for breakfast. Um, looks like we have some a little bit of specialty flavors. It says cowboy rub. So that will be a good smoky cowboy rub. That will be a good one to try. We like, um, we've tried some Cajun bacon before. And that was really good. And we also like the pepper bacon. This is just regular bacon, bigger packages, so that'll be nice. Um, looks like we have a nice, nice big ham here. That'll be good. And we have a couple of boxes of hot dogs, which a lot of these I think will probably end up, we'll save them up for summertime and grilling, which we grill some through the winter too, but not as much as summertime. So we'll probably save some of those back for summer grilling or campfires. Okay, up here we have, let's see, got lots of fries. And usually they have um, great big clear bags of fries. I guess they didn't have them this time. So they have, but here we have their steak fries or straight cut fries. Sometimes they'll have curly fries or you know, sweet potato fries too. Sometimes you can get big, great big bags of onion rings. So that's always nice. Um, we have more cheese. Looks like it was um, vacuum sealed, vacuum packed cheddar cheese. So we've got two of those. And we use a lot of cheddar cheese. Um, we have a few things, a couple things of chicken, chicken bites. We have some pork tenderloins that are seasoned, and these are really good for grilling as well. They're just really good grilling. And they have um, a couple different flavors. This is, let's see, it looks like mesquite flavored. So it'll be nice to try. And then this is peppercorn. That'll be good to try too. Then we have a big thing of cheese slices. And we use those. We use more of them in the summertime when we have sandwiches a lot more, but um, I make like cheeseburger pockets or different things. Grilled cheese with soup or something like that. So those, that'll be good to have. And we have two things of coconut oil. We use coconut oil. I use it some in baking, but we use a lot when we make our popcorn. But it's good to have too, just uh, if I don't have butter or I'm low on butter, then I can substitute coconut oil and that's nice. And then over here we have some miscellaneous, um, looks like we have a great big thing of canola oil. 
which that will last us a long time. We don't use um, we don't use too much oil, mainly for like if we're having fries. You know, occasionally we'll have fried chicken or something like that. I used to use lard a little bit more, but we we're kind of getting tired of lard, so we um, we started using oil again. But I mean, like I say, that'll last us a long time. And this is the first time I've gotten this laundry detergent in a five gallon bucket but I thought it'd be worth a try see how we get along with it and this I did get last time and it was the first time I had gotten it last time and I really liked it and it was it says comparable to Dawn and it really is I mean it doesn't smell like Dawn but it's got a nice mild smell but as far as being a good soap it it is it does good and we'll venture over here so well, that's that stuff, and then that's our miscellaneous stuff on the table again. And that stuff, we have giggling girls in the background. Okay, so we'll venture over to the kitchen here, and we get, um, so we like to buy stuff in 50 pound bags, and that will last us for quite a while. I, I um, keep my flour and sugar and oats I can't open it very well, but I keep those in five gallon buckets underneath the cabinet. So I have a regular oats and a quick oats, and then I have sugar and flour. So those are kept in five gallon buckets. So these big 50 pound bags will go downstairs to our cold room or storage room area, and we'll keep them down there, and then I just take the buckets down when I need to and fill them up. So we have regular rolled oats or quick oats. Those get used a lot in baking um, a lot of breakfast stuff breakfast bars or stuff like that and of course the kids love oatmeal so we go through our quick rolled oats very quickly no they they oatmeal is not their favorite but I tell them you know you need one thing a child needs one thing that they can look back on their childhood and think wow we really didn't like that but then you'll want it when you're an adult because it reminds you of your childhood so oatmeal that's what we do <laughs> But um, I could try and get a little creative with it. Usually I put a little bit of sugar and cinnamon in it. Sometimes though, I did try not too long ago, I put canned peaches and then Cool Whip in it and it was really good. And it was peaches and cream oatmeal. So they liked it. This is a new one. Um, 50 pound bag of Italian cheese powder. I don't know what we're going to do with that yet. But <laughs> maybe Adam has a plan, I don't know. But either way, it'll be nice to try and see what we can come up with uh, to make with that, to use that for, I don't, I don't quite know yet. But we go through a lot of cheese, so I guess that'll help. And onions. This is a great big bag of onions. I think he's making up for missing the onions on the list, grocery list, so many times that now I'm well stocked for quite a while. So that's good. <laughs> Plenty of onions now, which I mean, amazingly, we'll go through those pretty quickly, and we share with um, my in-laws too. So. I mean, those will last a good while, but you'd be surprised how quickly we'd be able to go through that. And last we have potatoes. This is a great big bag of potatoes. I probably can't even get it open. I haven't seen them in a bag like that before, but I really like that bag. So that's a great big bag of potatoes. And same with the potatoes. Like, we'll go through those quicker than usual. We're, we're quicker than you think. We, um, we are a meat and potatoes a lot of times with with meals so I like to throw in a vegetable you know green beans or corn that we have stored away from the garden but we eat a lot of potatoes and meat and I did want to mention with this flour this is a really nice flour and I know there's some more popular brands but they're pricier but this Winona flour it is um, it says it's not bleached naturally yeah it says Winona in enriched, unbleached, unbromated flour. But it's naturally white flour and it's really it works really well. I really like it and it's also only like I think it's like fourteen ninety five for one of these bags. So this is really nice to have. And I don't know how long that'll I've got a couple bags downstairs already, so this'll last quite a while, but I mean probably through the year we probably use I don't know, maybe six 50-pound bags of flour, 
And I did have them get any sugar this time. Last time we got sugar, but we'll get sugar. Sometimes we'll get it in the big 50 pound bags. You can actually get brown sugar in the big bags too, which we did last time. So we've got plenty of brown sugar. Um, regular sugar, we did end up getting a bunch of little four pound packages just because it was going to be cheaper. So we're stocked up on that already. And also they can, I mean, you can get big things of powdered sugar down there too. So it's just really, really nice. It is, it's two hours away, so it's quite a trip, but with the prices that are in our local grocery store, it's kind of worth it every few months that we just uh, stock up on the stuff that we can get in bulk, and it's a, it's a nice little trip. Usually, um, usually I like to go along, or one of the older girls will go along, but it's so cold in winter time, and we try and kind of stay away from sickness, so, so Adam ventured out by himself today, but he did a good job, and now we get to put all this away and most of it will get carried downstairs so he'll do the 50 pound bags and then i have cleaned out a fridge that we have down there and we've got some freezers down there so that will be fun to get all this stuff packed away but that's always a fun part and um so yeah i hope you guys like this this was a little bit of an insight into how our grocery shopping goes this is a big grocery haul <laughs> and um we do go lo shop locally as well, but it's never, I mean, we don't get as much. But this way we can go just uptown and get something, you know, get the smaller things that maybe they don't have down there or just something that uh, we might have forgotten. Or we'll get like milk, we'll just get that uptown and different things like that. So, so anyways, that was it and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. <laughs> she had to nod. How do I turn it off now? <laughs>